Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and you purchased the Bob's Evolution 4 Spoil Board Surfacing Program. What I'm going to do here is just walk you through the process of how to set it up and what to expect out of this. So what this program will do will surface the entire working area of the Bob's Evolution 4. So the work area is 24 inches that way and 24 inches this way. You'll be using a one inch diameter bit. That's what this program is written for. And that is going to go along the 24 inch line. So what you'll have is an extra half inch on this side and an extra half inch on this side. Now you see on my spoil board is quite a deep line. So I have resurfaced this many times. This program will only surface a 0 0.01 of an inch. So the bit that you will be using is a one inch facing bit. Just like this. If you do not have one, there is a link in the instructions and down in the description of this video where you can purchase this. I do sell it for 20 bucks and I will ship it out to you within 24 hours if you order it. So we're going to go through the setup process. What you'll have is a G-code program that you can plug right into your software. I use Universal G-code Sender. So you can use a flash drive, load the program onto the flash drive, plug it into your computer, and what you'll do is just click the open button and you will find the program that says Bob's Evolution 4 Surfacing G-Code program. You double click that and it'll install just like that. So the next thing we're going to do is set up our X, Y, and Z zero. While you are in your control software, what you want to do is, first of all, just send your machine home by clicking the home machine button. And that will send your Bob's Evolution 4 to the home position. While you're in that position, what you want to do is click the X and the Y so that these big numbers go to zero, which I am already there. But what you do is just take your mouse, click it, and then click the Y over the X and the Y and these numbers should turn to zero. If they don't, click them again. And then what you're going to do is take your Z or what you're going to do is take the whole machine and you're going to bring it out to about the middle of the bed with the bit in it. So we'll talk about how to position the bit in the router in just a moment after we bring it out. So what you'll do if you are using Universal G-Code Center is set your step size XY to 1 or 2 and then you'll click the arrow button just like this right here above the X positive and next to the Y positive and that'll move it out at a diagonal, diagonal path just like this. So I'm going to click it several times and it'll just keep moving until it's caught up with the number of clicks that I put in. So I am roughly at the middle of the bed, a little bit to the right, which is okay. So let's talk about how the bit should be installed. You'll notice I took the bit back out because I want to show you this. So this is the surfacing bit. It's a one inch diameter by a quarter inch tall. And you will put the bit in about a third of the way into the collet. So it'll go into about there. That's not typically normal, but we are taking off such a small amount of material and we're getting down to the lowest point of the Z axis that this machine can go. So we want to make sure we have enough sticking out. So, what I do is I put my finger about at that point, and I'll slide it in, and then tighten it up while I'm holding it in position. 
So the bit is now there and you want to make sure that you tighten it up. When you tighten on these, you don't have to over tighten enough to know and feel that it is squeezing it. So the bit is now set in the router. Now we have to set it to its zero position. And what we're going to do is bring it down to a point where it just touches the surface board. And we're going to use the paper touch method. So you'll come to your software. And we are just going to set this step Z right here to a point zero zero five. Now the thing is when you enter numbers in here, just make sure you put the number before the decimal point. So you'll put a zero point zero zero five. And that number will be in there. And then you'll come over to the Z. And what you can do is hold the Z down. So when I click this with my mouse, it's going to jog down just like this. Now it's moving down at 0.2 increments. And you want to keep your eye on it so that you know. Now you see there's a shadow right there. It's nice to go by a shadow because then you know that you're getting close. And I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit so we can see this a little bit better. And I've got another notch I can go, so I'm just going to hold the Z down briefly until it jumps down one more. So now we are very close. The paper still slides through. And now what you'll do is just click the Z while you're moving the paper. So I'm going to take my mouse, I'm going to tap, 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 tap. You're going to hear the stepper motor moving while it's going down. At the same time, you will be wiggling the paper around. So I'm clicking the mouse now while moving the paper. And that's it. It's there. You want to get it to a point where you just can't move the paper one more. There we go. So that's what you want. So you can't pull the paper out. And what we do at that point is come over to our Z and we will set Z0 just like that. We'll click the Z and you see that number now went to zero. The machine is now set. We will send it back home by clicking the home machine button. And we are ready to go as soon as the machine gets home. So we have the program in and you can tell on the universal G code center that it's home when you have all these lines in there. And what the program will do is it'll start right here. It'll come down at that corner and it'll just gradually feed down a little bit. And then it'll start going across the perimeter all the way around and then it'll step up and start going back and forth like that so it'll stagger all the way across it'll be moving at 120 inches per minute that's perfectly fine you want it to go fast what you want to do is set your router speed to about half speed so you'll adjust this knob right here so I'll show you what I mean <laughs> So that is full speed, and that's what we're setting it to. And when it's like that, all we have to do now is go click the start button, and the machine will run. Now I'm not going to click the start button because I just resurfaced the board. And like I said, you will not have a thick step like that. It will be a very thin step that will go all the way around. And when you're done, this board will be level and true to the gantry. And when it's all done, it will go back to the home position. And you can turn the router off and you are ready to make projects. So that's it. 
Make sure you save this because you will need this G-code again at a future date after you dig into your spoil board like I have done many times. As you can see here, that's just part of the life of CNC routers. So that's it. And remember, if you don't have that bit, you can click the link down below. It'll take you to my sales page or um, back in the set of instructions. There'll be a link to that as well. And when you're done with that, you probably want to put a grid on your board there's a link in the description here and in the instruction as to why you want a grid. It makes life so much easier. That link will take you to a video that explains how the grid works and basically how easy it is to set it up. You can see I have a grid on mine right here. And what that basically does is allows you to position your job quickly and you know where the corner of the job is relative to the machine position so you don't have to bring the machine over to try to find that edge that corner of the part so check out that video after you get your surfacing done and um, then that video will walk you through how to design a grid for your board by the way i want to tell you this does make some dust right mdf is dust glued together so be ready for that and you might have to just keep your eye on the rails right along here as it's cutting because sometimes that dust builds up on there and it kind of squishes down so all you do is just rub your finger along there to get the dust off the rail okay all the instruction and uh, go surface your machine i'll talk to you next time